to you Good morning to you Check one, two, we are going live, we are live, we're live. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. How do you feel the day after the big eclipse? Is everything different? Is anything in your life different? Or is it all the same? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Oh, the big day after the solar eclipse. Is it making you crazy? Or is it just the way it's supposed to be? Good morning, good morning everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, you made it. It's the day after the big solar eclipse. Now I had a big plan. I was going to drive into the into the storm of the, uh, the total, um, uh, total blackout, you know, uh, totality. I, I was going to drive my uh, my. I was going to drive up into the area of totality yesterday, right? And for me, that that amounted basically to going crossing into New York and uh, heading up towards uh, Syracuse, Rochester, into that line, the uh, uh, Niagara Fall uh, line. And uh, I don't know the weather, the weather forecast said it was cloudy, man. I was fucking. What am I going to drive? I don't want to drive all those hours to get to to see clouds. So I stayed right here. I stayed right local and uh, got a glimpse of it. Uh, I got at least 90% of it. I didn't get the total blackout. But uh, fascinating, right? Fascinating. Where were you when, when, the, when the moon blocked out the sun? Uh, fucking fascinating, man. Everything went black. It was dark. I didn't know that. I didn't know. You know, I had never been, I guess I had never experienced a full eclipse a full solar eclipse where the uh, moon blocks out the sun. And uh, I know it's a day later. I'm, was, I'm still talking about it. But uh, my, my um, <clears throat> concern, my interest as an investigative reporter is, does the solar eclipse, <laughs> does the solar eclipse static like this line, does the solar eclipse have <coughs> a direct effect on you and me? And everybody else. Good morning. Weevil Girl in the house. Champs in the house. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the program. We're talking about the um, uh, the the uh, day after the eclipse. And again, I apologize. I wasn't live yesterday because I planned on uh, on doing some of that live, <laughs> and it just turned out I didn't get to the spot. I wound up sitting sitting local and uh, having an amazing, amazing uh, feeling when I saw it. I, I think that was. Better than being live when it's happening and talking about it, right? rather than I sat there and I tried to experience it from the beginning to the end, from the morning, right when the when the moon was sitting right next to the sun, it was right there, and then and then right around two o'clock it started to push into its uh, you know direct uh, uh, view, and then by like three three fifteen it was. You know, in my area, it was ninety percent, ninety percent blocked out, and uh, uh, it wasn't dark. It didn't go dark, but it was. It was because it was cloudy anyway. But uh, uh, fascinating event. Does it have? I guess the, the my my uh, my interest in knowing is, does the solar eclipse the positions of the planets? Pick one. Uh, I I often talk about the morning star rising. And uh, the Buddha said when he saw the morning star, he knew he was enlightened. Well, what about the fucking eclipse? Uh, the eclipse is fascinating, right? It's just everything goes black for a minute, right? The streetlights pop on, right? And, and the birds are 
birds go home. All right, the fucking birds head home because they think it's nighttime, and then all of a sudden it's you know two minutes later it's daytime again. So everything gets everything gets somewhat confused on the Earth. Right? Uh, intellectually, we know what it is, and uh, you know humans we stare at it. Right? Maybe we're not supposed to do that. Maybe exposing yourself directly to the eclipse is a is a really bad thing. Right? It's like exposing yourself to the, to the voodoo of the night. Right? Like the birds head out. Right? The birds are pretty much where I was. They didn't. They they started to head back. Right? It got a little quieter with the birds, uh, but you could still hear them even when the when the thing was in full clip. So that's that's the investigation today. And uh, we'll see if there's any validity to it, right? There's a lot of people saying it makes them crazy. I mean, it's fucking making me crazy. I can't wait till this fucking, till the fucking sun passes already, man. Get the moon out of the way, man. I need the sun. It's a, it's a moment where the planet, at least, it unplugs, at least in those spots. Right? From Texas all the way to Maine, there was a, maybe 100 miles of, of black blackout uh fucking blackout for four minutes right? and um it's got to affect the planet in some way right some there's some sort of you know leading up to it and then it happens and then then the the now the 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 after effect right because now you're living remember the the solar eclipse if you want to there's a lot of bullshit about you know what einstein said about time and relativity and all but the fact is the solar eclipse was yesterday it was about 20, 20 hours ago, right? And and so so what the fuck effect does it have on the planet other than a really, really, really good show? Right? So, so that's what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Cheeseburger says it was cool to see the solar flares during the uh, eclipse. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Oh, those fucking little little projections sticking off the sun around the edges, right? It's, it indicates that the... Uh, uh, I don't know what it indicates. It just indicates that there's fire on that part of the planet, that, uh, on that part of the sun that we may not have uh, seen or known about uh, prior to the eclipse. There's also theories that the eclipse, the moon, is getting um, closer to the Earth, therefore, or further away, or whatever the fuck. It's, get, it's moving, and it's causing the... Um, it, it would have to... The, Earth, the, the theory is that the moon is getting closer to Earth, and that every time we see an eclipse on Earth, it's 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 darker than it's ever been, right? So no, no humans allegedly, uh, or anybody before this time has ever seen this sort of event on Earth, where the where the planet blacks out in that spot. Right? That's the that's the uh, the talk about the moon. Otherwise, because if the moon was further away, it wouldn't be able to. It would be too small to blot out the enormity of the sun. It would have to be, right? so every time it moves closer, it 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 it, um, it cuts down the angle. Right? You see less. So, so anyway, uh, and Cheeseburger says it got pretty dark in the south in southern Maine. Beautiful, beautiful man. I, I'm envious. I wanted to see it, but I didn't see it. Um, my eyes aren't bleeding. A lot of talk about eyes, eye damage. It fucking doesn't damage your eyes. I was staring at it all day, and my eyes are fine. Don't stare directly at at the sun, right? But then again, I was in a cloudy uh, area. Not a good idea to stare directly at the sun for too long because the the cells in the eye, the ret, the the uh, rods and cones in the back of the eye, can't handle that. Right? The lens in your eye is 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 magnifying the the intensity of it too. So so when you're looking at the sun, you're magnifying the the the, the light, and it's banging off the back of your your uh, the cells in your eyeball, the re- the uh, rods and cones, you know, causing damage. You don't want to do that. And burn it out, right? It's like anything else. Right? Don't look too long. Don't look. Don't look. So we'll look at this. This is my thumbnail today. Everybody's talking about it. The eclipse, but uh, are we, well, I want to. I want to know the the impact on Earth. Right? It's just um, it's just a shit show in the sky. Is it God speaking to us? Some people say it's God. Look at it. You'll see God. Right? Look directly at the solar eclipse, and you will see God. You know, God's everything. Nothing. Man. So it's, God is everywhere. God is everything. God is nothing. Right? Couldn't be anything else. It's an interesting concept about God. Humans have this concept of God. Do you believe in God? 
Do you believe in God? Well, what the fuck are you talking about, first of all? Are you talking about the, a, a specific person, a specific uh, religious entity like Buddha or Jesus or Muhammad or Allah <laughs> right, or Ishmael, whoever? Or are you talking about something, something uh, more you know, substantial, something more significant, like, like everything is God or nothing is God? Right? God is the creation God is this this fucking black dot in the in the in the you know in the sky that blocks out the other the other fucking star right the star that keeps us alive. Uh, is this all uh, uh, some sort of intricate plan of some sort of other being? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it, it is. There's no there's no answer to any of those questions. So if you're if you're wondering if there is a God, is there is there an ultimate creator? Well, so what? Right? Does it really does it really matter? <laughs> does it really matter? All you know is that when you see it, it's uh, it does matter. I guess, I'll take that back. It does matter right? to know the existence of this this. Um, the, this 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 existence that we have, right? To be fucking self conscious, <laughs> and to, uh, to to know to know your God. Right? Right? Close your eyes, ten minutes, breathing in, breathing out. Right? You will come in contact. You will you will know your God. You will know. You will know your God. Right? It's it's, uh, it's it's you. Right? It's you, and it's it's not you. <laughs> it's everything, right? but. But anyway, as Earthlings, we like stories. We like stories about about Christmas and Easter and and uh, you know fucking summer solace and Buddhist stuff. Right? T H Z M sounds eclipse says eclipses are a lot more common on Jupiter than Earth. NASA says double, triple, and multiple uh, eclipses. Yeah, they have. Um, they, yeah, Jupiter has like nine moons, right? So arguably there's eclipses happening all the time, right? So uh, I agree, I agree. But we have one right here on Earth, and that's the one we can measure with our own fucking skin and blood, right? skin and bones, right? Do you feel anything different? Do you feel different today? I personally don't. I feel, I feel lighter. I feel, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I feel different. Today's the same. Same every day. So uh, my name is Marcus Conti, uh, reporter. Uh, this is the morning report. Every morning, 9 a.m., 9 a.m. here in the great United States of America, while we're still standing strong before our election, that uh, Donald Trump is likely to win because he's winning in the polls. Uh, every morning at 9 a.m., we're live. We're right here, and uh, you can watch the the uh, reruns across other platforms, BitChute, Odyssey, Rumble, Facebook, Twitter, Getter, X, Socials, Two Truth Social, whatever. We're everywhere. We are everywhere. We'll also break to the markets. Uh, let's see what other markets are doing. I forgot to take a look. Looks like the uh, markets are going to look a little flat before. Uh, open up. Look at that. Uh, Donald Trump's stock is getting crushed. <laughs> it IPO'd at 50, it went to 80, and now it's 37. So it's down. it was down 8% yesterday. Uh, Reddit also got slammed yesterday. And uh, But it looks like the markets are going to go up today. Dow is, uh, what's the headline? The AI trade has a Jamie Dimon problem. Uh, whatever. I'll look at that when the, when the time comes. And uh, so this is my view. This is my uh, shorty short of the from my my vantage point. I guess that's about seventy five percent blocked out. This is what I saw um, from where, from my lawn chair. You hear the bells. You hear the little bells going. You hear some birds. You hear some of the birds are still out. But that that was it. It was kind of a gray. It was a gray out, right? Everything behind the, the clouds wasn't blue anymore. It was kind of gray. It's not particularly thick thick uh, clouds, you know? It was very thin clouds, but you were, you were able to um, get, a, get a little peak, right? I got a good peak. I saw this maybe, I saw this peak maybe three or four times. And I know it's inferior to what a lot of other people see. I saw the videos of 
the total blackout and the, the total clear view for, you know, minutes and minutes at a time. But this is what I got. Right? And um, that's OK. I was maybe I, I don't know. I was maybe like 100 miles away from the the uh, totality, I guess, in, in Pennsylvania. I was on the other side of Pennsylvania in the United States. And, uh, it was fascinating. Nonetheless, uh, I, I was I was interested how things would change where I am, you know, and uh, I didn't, I don't know, I didn't really see anything. I didn't see any change. Yeah, so I got a website every morning at 9 a.m. What else can we look at? Uh, so let's look at some of the, uh, let's spin, see how some of the media is spinning. Here's what it looked like in uh, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio got an amazing view. Cleveland, Ohio got an amazing view. They got an amazing view of the uh, thing. And let's watch. The sun that is still visible, and we uh, will go oh, wow. through a small process here. Seconds before totality, we'll get some little flashes of light on yep. the outer edge of the uh, the moon, and those will be Bailey's beads. Bailey's wow, there it is. Look at this. It's almost there. It's almost you, there. You can hear the crowd behind us cheering. You can hear the uh, humans. Now, again, you remember, humans also, not only do they look at solar eclipses, but they also look at tsunamis. Remember when... You remember when there was um, tsunami warnings? I remember in Thailand it happened. <clears throat> it was a tsunami warning, right? And people, the fucking ocean emptied, right, for like a mile. Right? You're, looking, you're looking out, you're standing by the, you know, you, you just bought your ticket to be sitting on the beach. And you look out and the fucking ocean is gone, right, for a minute or two. All of a sudden, where did the ocean go, right? You see the fish jumping, flipping, fucking jumping, Right, crabs running around, right? It's like it's like uh, suddenly you were on Mars, right? When you see something like that, human, turn around and run, run up the fucking hill. Why? Because there's a giant wave coming. Right? Is this is this the same thing? Is um, although there might not be a wave per se, a, a liquid wave, there's got to be some sort of uh, celestial effect, right? By watching this, our, the point is, are humans as dumb sitting around cheering the solar eclipse as they are looking at the, the empty ocean when a tsunami is about to fucking kill them. I don't know. Is it the same? Could be. <laughs> wow. So if you, uh, if, you, if you can look out a window, look at the color of the air around you. Everything is getting very flat gray. Uh-huh. We are just seconds away from those Bailey's beads showing up. Then we will have what's known as the diamond ring, the last little glimpse of sun before yeah. totality. And when totality, totality. Happens, you take your glasses off. Totality. I love it. And hopefully <laughs> through these cirrus clouds, we will be able to see the corona of the sun, which this is the only time so this is, you get to see. This is great. This is the NASA uh, clip, by the way. This The, the images they're looking at is uh, NASA. NASA did this for everybody. Thank you, NASA, for, uh, for doing that. Jim, like you, I vaguely remember as a kid yeah. <laughs> seeing this, and I certainly did not have an expert from NASA and mm -hmm. an expert meteorologist, as I said, Eclipse Guru. <laughs> it's moving pretty fast now, right? It's about a minute, minute seven. <laughs> Walking me through it, kind of tell me right now, what are we seeing? Well, there's just this little tiny orange sliver. That's all there is. And you can uh -huh. see it's, it's a little tiny orange sliver. But, but Betsy's absolutely right. If you take the glasses off, don't go. look at the sun, but look around. The it's color is incredible. In. Uh -huh, so, uh -huh, uh -huh. remember the, the sun uh, is 400, 400 times, times larger, larger than the moon. Than the diameter of the moon. Yep. whoop de do. Closer closer. To yeah, they're turning into Disneyland, right? It's fucking CBS. CBS? CBS Disneyland. It is geometric perfection. <laughs> we are right in this path. We have not been in the path of totality since 1806. Wow, 1806. That's a long time before it ever blacked out, right? And nobody knows because nobody was around in 1806. Right? Nobody knows. Nobody knows if it blacked out. It won't happen again until 2024. It won't happen again until 2024. What, 2400? Something. 2444. 44, you jackass. 2044. It won't happen again for another 20 years. Somewhere in Ohio in 2099. So only 75 more years. 75 more years. For Cleveland, it's 420 years. 2444. Wow. It's just absolutely amazing. 24, 44, four, take that back, 420 years to see this again. Amazing. Wow. It is. And 
and this is the most painful part of the whole process. <laughs> uh, this wait, mm -hmm. and everybody's been waiting. The waiting, oh, it's the, the hardest part. A voice goes right through me. Let's just watch the sliver. You can see the sliver starting to disappear. Turn, turn this fucking lady off. You can see the sliver. That's really, that's really amazing. Right? The, the sliver is getting smaller as time ticks on, right? Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, and voila. It's almost gone. Kind of like watching, um, it's kind of like watching your clothes dry. Right? They dry slowly, and you don't, oh, and there it goes. Then something happens, so that. What happened, Nassau? What happened? Uh, and there we go. Now we're into, I guess they switched lenses or something. Now that's fascinating. Look how dark it got. I've never seen anything like that. I've never Behind seen it. I didn't see it yesterday, that's for sure. And there is so much, it's so much brighter to the oh, north. Oh, wow. Look at that. The, I did look not at that. When I was a kid. <laughs> I don't, I, look I at that. So we, this is just so stunning. So, so we can't incredible. see the planet Venus. Jupiter is. You can see Venus and Jupiter. That's interesting. You see the more you see uh, stars. Here to the upper left of the moon. Yep. yep. And if we were going to get to see. So the humans seem to have survived the uh, the actual blackout. They're not killing each other, right? They're not um, they're not breaking out into random sex, which uh, some people say the animals start to have sex. When the eclipse happens, so humans are not having sex. They're not, they're not killing each other. They're just uh, some of them are brought to tears. Some of there's emotions <clears throat> amongst the humans. They were, people were were emotional when they saw the the the, the planet, uh, the uh, the neighboring planet block out the fucking the the the, the power. Right? The power went off for a second, and they were like, whoa. Comet that Russ told us about earlier in the week. Uh, last week, it would be to the right of Jupiter. I don't see it because of those cirrus clouds right now. Well, I'm going to take a photograph. Uh, please do. Uh, I am also seeing we're getting some Bailey's beads on the end. It's quite a, this, is, this is good. This is good coverage right here. They're in total total darkness. Right? Total fucking darkness. Which is kind of interesting. So we are in a solar maximum. The sun runs on an 11-year solar cycle, maximum and minimum. In 2017, when I was in Jefferson City, we did not have the solar maximum, but we still had this amazing view. This year, we're in a solar maximum, so we are getting to see so much more energy coming out, and we may actually, that bottom, uh, you see that little glimmer. So much energy. And that very well could be a, a, a mass ejection, coronal mass ejection, or some kind a of a... coronal mass injection. That sounds, that sounds dirty. It's a mass injection popping out the left... Popping out below the moon, see it has a mass injection. Solar sprite that is coming out of the, the sun right now, yep. and we. Can uh, Weevil Girl says the great pause. Right? It's a great pause. It's a, it's a good. It's a good analogy. Thank you. Thank you. We hit. We hit the pause button for a second here on Earth. Right? Pause. We got, we've got planes flying above the atmosphere or above the above the clouds and everything else. So we'll have people who may be able to tell us. I don't know that for sure, but I will have people who may be able to tell us. Yes, we are. What's going on up there? Um, and what we're so that was an that was an interesting view of the surrounding area. It, it looked like it was. Um, it looked like it's. It looked down in this image right here with the blacked out with the blacked out moon. There's still a, a sliver of light around the edge. It's dark right above, but out into the horizon is 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 sun. Wow. That's fascinating, right? You need a perfectly clear day to see it. I, I did not see that. For sure, but I will have people who may be able to tell us. Yes, we are. What's going on up there uh, and what we're seeing? What's the effect? So. It, is, it is absolutely spectacular. And yeah. Look, if all, if all life on Earth is dependent on the sun, is it possible to, is it possible, is, is there any interruption in that connection is what I'm saying, right, for this for this four minutes, or is the planet fine? It's just four minutes. It's like holding your breath. <gasps> All the plants and everybody's just, <gasps> they're holding their breath for four minutes or a minute right? in the line of totality. The line of totality. 
so that's what's happening in Cleveland, Ohio. Let's go on. What is going on over here? So, uh, total eclipse captures hearts, minds of millions. The scope ABC. Of this is simply extraordinary. Extraordinary. Scientists say 99% of the country able to see, at the very least, some hint of a partial eclipse. Arlington, Texas, among the first spot to see the total Ooh. eclipse. Thousands of the bleachers at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway looking up to the sky. Mm-hmm. In Cleveland, the changing phases of the eclipse. The burst of light, the diamond ring. The burst of light. That's that's fascinating. A burst of light when it when it finally shuts down. That's I, that's that's amazing. I didn't. Uh, I, I had never heard of that. You saw it in the video. So so that so when it when it finally finally moves into full position, there's a burst of light. That's got to have an effect. It's got to have an effect on 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 everything, right? Uh, waves. Uh, people were predicting that there would be earthquakes. There would be uh, uh, some kind of evil on Earth, right? It's got to have an effect. Well, maybe good. Maybe maybe everything grows twice as good, right? You, you don't always look at it as something bad. Maybe the pause is uh, is like uh, it's a wake up call right, for nature. It smacks the seeds or something. Hey, man, get up. <laughs> something like that. And the sparkles of light known as Bailey. Hey, get up, man! It's fucking spring, man. Get up. Speeds, light shining through the moon's mountain. <laughs> it's the sound of one seed talking to the other. Hey, man, there's an eclipse. Get, get up. <laughs> in valleys, clouds rolling over Niagara Falls, but parting just in time, the crowd in awe. And here in Burlington, Vermont, right near the end of this Burlington. journey across the U.S. under a blue sky, darkness setting in, the temperature dropping, we witnessed the... And temperature drop, that's, that's new. Temperature drop. I felt that it, it was a little colder yesterday, too. Extraordinary eclipse right here. Even outside the path of totality today, the Statue of Freedom on top of the Capitol in Washington, D.C., more than 350 couples exchanging their wedding vows in Russellville. So this is evidence of, of human human uh, uh, behavior, right? People people felt like they had to get, they got, they got, they got to get married. I'm going to get married because of the eclipse. It's making me want to love. Arkansas. It's making me want to uh, copulate or, 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 or join, uh, come, come lingle. Myself with somebody else. Yorkers gathering in New York City's Central Park, and from the International Space Station tonight, the shadow of the eclipse moving over the surface of the Earth. Tonight, the solar eclipse as it passed over North America and much of the U.S., millions of Americans sharing in the moment. La, la, la. Across this country today, tens of millions of Americans coming together, looking up, witnessing that. Looking up. In the sky. <laughs> A rare total solar eclipse. In small there towns, they are. Big cities, the sky suddenly going dark as the moon passed between the sun and the earth, casting that shadow, mm-hmm. plunging communities into darkness. Plunging and communities into darkness. Mexico to Maine, the eclipse traveling across 15 states. More than uh, that's a good. That's a good review of it, right? There's the the line, the, the trail of totality. 31 million Americans in the path of totality. Thirty-one million Americans in the path of totality. Right? The healthcare profession, the the the, the medical industrial complex is going to take note. Thirty-one million people were exposed to the to the eclipse. Get your pill. Get your vaccine. You're, you're, they're, they're coming out with a, an eclipse vaccine, and so you don't catch something from having been exposed to the to the, to the eclipse. <laughs> Here's where we're going to get censored. Having been exposed to the to the eclipse, there is a sense of 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 sickness that sets in, and one might benefit from Pfizer's brand new vaccine, the eclipse vaccine, the vaccine eclipse. Take it now. I'm I'm saying it jokingly. I, I I'm not. Uh, I I do believe that the eclipse has. Uh, an effect on people. We're seeing it. They get excited. Uh, people are looking up. There's there's uh, disturbances in the uh, animal kingdom. There's there's got to be bigger disturbances as well, right? I don't know about earthquakes and all that, but uh, it definitely has an effect on the tide and such. So I'm 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 half heartedly joking. Are the are the changes so fucking radical? Like you're gonna walk outside and you're gonna see people. Whoever was in the path of totality, are you gonna walk out and see people with purple hair and fucking, you know, green eyeballs and <laughs> skin falling off or or, or extra skin? You don't know. I, I don't think so. It's not an extreme change, but it's change. Mazatlan, Mexico, 
the beginning of its 4,000 mile journey across North America. You can hear it, David. You can hear it, Lindsay. Everybody is very excited. Let me just. Beautiful girl says, Mother Nature is still the greatest entertainer. Yes, man. Yes, man. For so many, even though they knew the moment was coming, mm -hmm. they did not expect this. It was, it was so much more. Traveled to Mazatlan from New Jersey. It's amazing, amazingly beautiful, once in a lifetime. Oh beautiful. my God. You sound yeah. emotional. Tears in my uh, Tears. A mother and daughter from Minnesota, Cynthia and Tanya, who traveled to Mexico to see it. The sun, the sky, I, the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. I've never looked up in my life. All of a sudden, I'm looking up. And there it is. There's a sky. And there's there's stars. Oh my god, we're fucking on the planet. It's an egg. And this white light. And it's white. It's like You've never seen know. something like this before. It's like heaven is calling down. And it's amazing. Mm, yeah, it's religious. Mexico into Texas. The shadow at that point traveling at sixteen hundred miles per hour. The first huh. state in the path of totality. Totality. The path of there's gotta be a there's gotta be a rock song. Uh, uh, Taylor Swift. Has to get the song in the path of totality across the sky, but it was still visible. Our Maria Villarreal in Del Rio as the temperatures suddenly dropped. It's going to be a little bit quiet, David and Lindsay. As this moment, oh my gosh! Wow. Cheeseburger reports that his toads, his toads didn't come out until uh, a week from yesterday. Right? Fucking the toads were hiding. Toads were hiding. They knew it was coming. Animals have definitely a uh, all. I was walking early this morning, early yesterday morning, uh, and uh, I'm I'm ex I'm particularly sensitive to dogs barking. I don't know why. Fucking dogs drive me crazy. I like dogs, but they when they bark and scent and constantly and 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 they're locked in a house and they don't shut the fuck up. Uh, they tend to uh, annoy me a little bit. Uh, and uh, they were all barking in, in stereo uh, around, I'd say, about 8 or 9 a.m. Uh, no eclipse happening, but uh, the dogs were, 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 were fucking spinning in circles and barking. <laughs> A lot of them. So they, they knew something was up. Come on, man. Bob and Barb riding their bikes from California to Texas. Bob and Barb. <laughs> hey, Bob. Barb, Bob and Barb are married. That's a tongue twister right there. If you're not, uh, if English isn't your first language, Bob and Barb, it was not too far apart. You got the same name, man. Why you guys got the same name? Why don't you fucking get it? It's a little spin. It was worth it. I, I'll echo that. Uh, I sat out there all day. I sat on my lawn chair and I waited. <laughs> and and it was cloudy. And I got a glimpse. I got, I got the clouds broke for a second or at least a minute, a few minutes. And I was able to see it. But it was, uh, it was worth the wait when you see it. It was fascinating. I'd love to get here. Is it worth it? Yes, totally. Our Whit Johnson with us from Cleveland when he revealed that his mother had traveled to Mazatlan to witness the eclipse. Wait, I'm going to put you on the spot right here. Uh, no pressure here, but if your mom is in Mazatlan, reach out to her and let's try to get her on the air. You got you to ask yourself, why does it make people emotional? I, I, what's emotional about it? It suddenly, I don't know, what does it make you realize? It makes you realize something or you wouldn't be emotional. Maybe the, the, um, the, the I don't know, the shortness of life, the fragility of life. What makes you, what, what, what emotion are you, oh, you fucking, it's so beautiful, oh my god, oh, what's the emotion connected to it, that's what I want to know. In the next two hours, at least on the phone, I want to hear what your mom thought, because we could have done coverage with Whit Johnson uh, yeah, and his mom, right, team coverage team. here. <laughs> anyway, we can't wait to hear from her as well, let's hope, yeah, let's man. hope anyway. We'll a short time later, reporting live. Can we see something else here, let's see something else. Their first moment as life partners entering totality. <laughs> Newlyweds. The shadow of the moon. It is much more than what I imagined. Like, this is just breathtaking. <laughs> it is breathtaking. In Carbondale, Illinois, <laughs> it was their second eclipse in just seven years, which is extraordinarily rare. Seven years ago, cheated by clouds, but today, a glorious uh -huh. sun with 
Okay. Okay, okay. That was a good report. Let's see some other stuff, right? I'm just going to skim the, um, the the clips, right? Awesome. That was the verdict as millions of Americans watched a total solar eclipse uh, cast its uh, shadow uh, across uh, the US today. Uh, that's Four. right. That's right, mate. You're jealous. She's jealous over there in the, in the great, the great uh, state of England. To four remarkable minutes, some just marvelled, some proposed, some got married, and at least one gave birth. U.S. correspondent Mitch mm. McCann reports. Somebody gave birth during the solar eclipse. Oh man, that's a that's an omen right there. I was born, I was born, I was conceived, right? You weren't conceived. Well, if you were conceived, that's that's pretty fucking profound, right? Because you can, it, it may it may be harder to predict a birth. On, a, on on the day the solar eclipse is going to happen because there's a randomness, right? The baby might not pop out exactly on the eclipse, right? That that moment. But but you could certainly conceive, right? Ah, you can conceive during the eclipse. So anybody who was in the path of totality doing the, the 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 nature thing right copulating copulation right um, is going to is that that in itself right that the the seed the seed of the eclipse is is now connected forever to the seed of birth right it's now one right? because because it happened at the same time you know? it's, Oh, Green afternoon and in complete no. darkness. The eerie Pennsylvania. Oh, look at this. Humans, f suddenly people on Earth are finding something in common. Look, the planet is going out. The sun is getting blotted. I love you. <laughs> this out of the world phenomenon was electrifying. A big, bright, burning halo hanging in the sky. <laughs> I think it's freaking awesome. It's yeah. just emotional. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it is emotional. Lots of emotion. Yeah. I don't I, I can't even put it into words. It's oh, a, it's amazing, dude. <laughs> I've never I feel, seen like it before. The path of totality I feel something. started in Mexico where the spectacular time lapse was captured. As it continued on, this football stadium in Eagle Pass, Texas plunged into darkness. While they waited in Arkansas, couples took a plunge of another sort. Weevil Girl, Weevil Girl's not going to skin off the ball today. Maybe, maybe stop killing each other, humans. Yes, right? Did anybody kill, kill? <laughs> maybe people didn't. How many deaths? How many murders occurred during the, the in the path of totality? Let's, let's see. Number, number, number of murders in the path of totality yesterday question mark how many people um, missed no violent crime numbers down okay Philadelphia shootings have plummeted uh, watch now nah, there's nothing there's nothing like that but that would be an interesting study if you did um, the number of murders the dumb number of of uh, the, the rather than murders, the amount of violence did it have a sedating effect, or did the criminal say, "Oh, it's gonna get dark for four minutes, man. Get your fucking pliers out. Get your get your thief your thief tools out. Get your fucking hammer out, man. We're gonna go stealing because it's dark. Maybe that happened." Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But there's no. Uh, can't get any evidence. I can't get any. Um, what's this? Freaking awesome. It's freaking awesome. Oh, in Indianapolis, no. the famous speedway turned into a stadium for stargazing. La, la, la. I saw this already. Planning for this for a year, not knowing what to expect, <laughs> some had interesting theories. Okay, I'm getting a little bored of the uh, eclipses. Hey, we're open. Ding, ding, ding. Here on Earth, uh, the stock market is open. And it looks like the Nasdaq is up 77. Dow Jones Industrial Average also up 77. S&P 500 up 18. Uh, Great Tesla up 63 cents this morning. Rivian up 20 cents. Uh, Trump stock, $36 a share. Down another buck today, getting smacked. And again, that 30, $70 for Trump media is, <laughs> in my view, overvalued. It probably is going to value in the, you know, maybe like, 
you know, 12 or 15 or something. And that's that would be an entry point going into the uh, election, because as Trump starts to get his momentum, uh, people are going to start to see the value that this guy's going to be the president and he owns this company. Right. So it's not a it's not a bad thing to let it go down. As Trump said, you buy the dip. I, I, I believe it's going to go up. I do. I do think that Trump is he's got a winner here. It's just if it IPO to 50, it's not uncommon for things to come lower because there's a lot of people selling at 50. You know, there's, and there's also no revenue behind it at this point to suggest there's no revenue behind Trump's stock to keep it up. Right? Right? You can't bank on it. Right? It's all speculation. But if it comes down into like the 15s or the 10s, that's a good, that's a good deal, just like Rivion. I mean, Rivion's hanging around 10 right now. That'll be a, a high flyer one day. Um, you got to ask yourself with the Trump stock, J, uh, DJT, is Trump a, a, a flash in the pan? Is Trump here today, gone tomorrow? I, I don't think so, man. Two-time president. He'll be around a while. NVIDIA down five bucks. Google up two. Apple up a dollar. Amazon up 60 cents. Meta, formerly Facebook, up another $3.62. The great Mark Zuckerberg has placed Facebook at $522 a share. Holy smokes. Microsoft, $4.27, also up $3 a share today. What about Bitcoin? Because we have to know. Bitcoin down a thousand dollars today. Oh my God, at seventy. So Bitcoin is is settling in at seventy thousand range, down a thousand today, um, but settling at seventy thousand. We were talking about it not long ago on this program at thirty thousand. Boeing, Boeing still sucking wind. One eighty two a share. Pfizer. Johnson, Pfizer, Johnson and Johnson, Moderna, the holy vaccine stocks, Moderna. Running this morning, up four dollars a share. I don't know something's going on with Moderna. It's the Eclipse vaccine. Moderna. Moderna is going to get the the uh, they they're they're working on it. They're working on it. It's uh, it's not Wuhan. It's not a leak, but they're working on a vaccine to help all of the the people that were were caught in caught and and stood there and watched in the path of totality of the eclipse 2024. Is there a sickness that occurs? Let's find out. Is the solar eclipse making people sick? Feeling in the air ahead of this afternoon's much anticipated solar eclipse, uh, many concerned social media (laughs) users are claiming that this cosmic overlap is causing them to suffer what they call eclipse sickness with (laughs) symptoms. I told you, man. Eclipse sickness. That now that was the that was the oh, it's so emotional. I fucking love you, man. I love you, planet. And now we're going into I'm sick. I'm sick, man. The fucking solar planet. I'm, I want to sue. I want to sue somebody because I got sick. It was ranging from insomnia to headaches and even wonky menstrual cycles. Bullshit. These, uh, allegations. Bullshit, bullshit. Your, your stomach hurts because you were out, you were out boozing and whoring all night. The, this kind of somatic uh, foreshadowing serves in the week leading up to Monday's event. Needless to say, concerned parties uh, were concerned that they this was actually putting their health at retrograde. <laughs> Some people claimed they had headaches. The one concerned citizen said, I've been feeling physically sick for a few days now, and I feel it's because of the Mercury retrograde and the upcoming solar eclipse. That's because you're weak and you're fucking get out of bed, you jerk off. Get out of bed. What are you drinking? What, what are you drinking? What is this yellow fucking potion that you're drinking? Like, get out of the bed, put the, unplug the laptop, open the window, and get outside. Does anyone else feel off or sick these days? And some even said their menstrual cycles uh, either synced with the eclipse or it just kind of threw them off kilter. No, it is, it, is likely that, it is likely that some people are more sensitive than others, right? For me, I'm insensitive. Right? I don't know about you, but I, I feel like I'm insensitive to the whole thing right now. I think that the change was real, and uh, uh, I don't know. It, again, I, I take the sun every day. I'm outside every day. Every time I see the sun, I go outside, if I can. If I, if I see it like it's out now, I'm going to go running in a little while in the sun. It's not, it's not fucking eclipse. It's not nothing special, but the sun. You can see it, right? My, I'm, I'm looking into the sun right now. 
I'm looking into the sun right now. I'm going to blind myself. Oh, my God, I see it. Oh, my God, it's so beautiful. It's orgasmic, man. I just had an orgasm looking at the at the sun. Ooh, yeah, that hurts your eyeballs. I'm just gonna talk about. Come on, Chang, give it to me. And this seemed to be like a recurring theme. I think they claimed this during the 2017 eclipse too. Fortunately, scientists have haven't found a correlation between eclipses and these symptoms. It sort of seems like the equivalent of when uh, old timers say my knees acting up and that's definitely the sign of, of a tsunami. So this No, no, there is there is uh people are especially when you break bones, people that have arthritis are more receptive to uh to swings and the uh humidity. Those are real effects, right? It, I mean, you could even go further than that. It, when when the temperature is cold, people are cold. You don't have to, it, the subtleties of it, oh, it's uh, humid out and my bones hurt. Yeah, all right, well, it's fucking five degrees out and you're cold. Uh, that's real, right? Or it's 90 degrees out and you're hot. The sun, the planet, and the, the, the atmosphere has an effect on people. Duh. This appears to be like a case of uh, cosmic hypochondria. In fact, uh, NASA even posted after the Great Eclipse of 2017, they said it is sort of a confirmation bias. Mm. There's no more correlation and eclipse in your health than there is a relationship between your health and a new moon or any other cosmic phenomenon. Well, that's, that's spoken from, that's what doctors would say. All right, I had enough of this guy. Sorry, man. Let's see what else we got. Science reveals how solar eclipses point to the existence of God. Mm. <clears throat> when scientists are pointing to God, now you know this is going to be interesting, right? Let's listen. It is not just about science. It is also a religious experience. Chief religious. Chief correspondent Lauren Green. Is oh, 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 oh. Why, why, why do we have to, why, why is she talking about religion? When we, why is Fox talking about religion when we were talking about God? Are they the same? Is the existence of, of God, uh, is, your, is the existence of God dependent on religion? Or is religion just some sort of, you know, charade, right? Charade, a human charade to try to explain this unexplainable totality, right? This, this, uh, this, this, um, this everything, nothing concept we call God, right? God, right? it's everything. It's nothing. It's, it's, I feel it. It's in me. I see it. I see God. I see God. I feel God. I feel God's presence. I feel it. That's God. But what is it? Nobody can, nobody can quite explain it. Right? When you try to explain it, that's when you lose it. Uh, like this girl, this woman right here. She lost it. Is here with us in New York. Lauren, great to have you with us. Oh, it's great to be here. You know what? I joined the hundreds, thousands of New Yorkers. Who <laughs> so here's the, uh, here's the religious expert. I'm going to tell you about God. Descended out of the offices to watch the eclipse. A little, little sliver between Were the you buildings. Able to see hey, you can see a giant cross on her neck. She has a giant cross. Right? So you know where she's coming from. Right? I, don't, I don't want to criticize, but she's coming from the concept of God. And, and, and religion, and, and definitely her church. Yes, with the glasses I saw, right. it was absolutely awesome. Absolutely incredible. And you know, the thing about it is, is that now that's- I had, a, I had a, an incident, I was playing Hare Krishna at an open mic, and a guy ran out, ran, this, this, this crazy guy. Oh, you fucking, I can't believe you're singing about God. Oh my God, this fucking- ah, ah, ah. And, he, and he left. It's a true story, man. I was playing, I was playing Hare Krishna, the song, uh, at an open mic, and a guy fucking started like, like tearing and, and got up and left. Because he felt like he felt like someone was jamming God down his throat, which I wasn't. Right? I was just singing my song. I don't fucking care what you think about God. Uh, I see it. I see it. And I see it in the in the song. I, I feel it. Signs can predict. Hare Krishna. They are they do, they garner less um, fear and more fascination. But for one scientist, this rare event confirms his faith in God. But it might surprise you why. Yeah, why? As the moon blocks out the sun and brings total darkness to a large swath of North America today, millions are marveling at the rare sight. But for physicist and astronomer Dr. Hugh Ross, it's a reminder 
that a solar eclipse back up more than 100 years ago confirmed Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, which proved mm -hmm. the universe was finite no, and that not. it had a beginning. Nobody has proved anything, by the way. Nobody has proved anything that Einstein said. Einstein is just a flash in the pan. He's a he's a one he's a one shot deal in a, in a thousand years. No, no one will vaguely remember Einstein. Einstein or give a shit about his theory of relativity and his Big Bang. Nobody knows for sure if there's a beginning or an end, and it's irrelevant. It's it's stupid to even wonder. Well, is there a beginning and end? If if there's always if there's a beginning, then something had to be before the beginning because there was something there, logically. And if the end ends, what comes next? Right? If you hit a wall and you say, "Well, that's where it ends," well, what's on the other side of the wall? The wall continues. Right? So these 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 types of uh, religious, uh, uh, you know, trying to explain and or understand God uh, in that respect is is flawed. Right. <laughs> it's even flawed trying to talk about it. The equations of general relativity reliably describe movements of bodies in the universe. Space and time are created, which establishes that the cause of the universe must be an entity or being beyond space and time. Right. Now Ross says so something. In, the Bible in, in other words, in other words, because because you cannot explain the beginning of things, then God exists. Is that what you're saying? That that's God. God is the infinite. The infinite universe is God. All right, you can call it that, right? God always, always the the word, the the term God always pops up to try to explain the unexplainable. I can't explain it. I just feel it. It's God. I see it. I feel it. He's here. She's here. God. People feel God. They see it. A lot of people, when they're about to die, say they see it. I see God. <clears throat> Something lines up. Right? Something lines up, and uh, and then you understand. Uh, you understand the fragility of life, the, the the temporariness of it all, right? And the continuation. If you're receptive enough, you'll see that it's it doesn't end. It just it just keeps going. Right? Whether <clears throat> whether there's a solid self or not is is unlikely, <laughs> but. But the energy is still there. So you keep going. Among all holy books, is God described in that way? Now, Ross says we live in a unique time in history mm -hmm. of the universe where we just happen to be able to view these eclipses because the moon's distance from the Earth is the exact size it needs to be in order to completely block out the sun. So the moon, okay, so the moon is the exact size it needs to blot out the sun, right? And that's, that's, um, <clears throat> that's uh, specific to this time. She's saying, the scientist. If we were here at a different time, okay. we wouldn't be able to understand the physics of our sun, the physics of other stars to the Why? degree that we can. Why? God wanted us, <laughs> in my opinion, to be able to read the whole book of nature. Oh, God wanted it that way. Oh, so that was a good one. What's this? Uh, 72 hours. Things are starting to happen. People who ascend will be able to pass through the next eclipse portal in April 2024 when the energy will be stronger and more exciting. This phase of the planets could make you feel a lot of different things, such as uh -huh. excitement, nostalgia, challenges, and faster ascension. Mercury retrograde runs from April 1st to April 25th. During this period, challenges may arise, challenges but there may are also arise. amazing opportunities for ascension accelerators. For reasons not Ascension acceleration favors the ascending. It's important to keep being patient. Mm, I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Mark Scante. Mark Scante reporting. Unexpected blessings are coming to you. Vibrations everywhere. Ooh. The solar eclipse of the sun is making me crazy. It's making me happy.
have fun. To you. Mm-hmm.